Stronger Than Magic by Sari Bunnell in the Book of Hopes. In every time and in every land, there has always been something stronger than magic, something that holds the same power as love and the rising brightness of joy. It's like the feeling you get after a long bleak winter when you see the first spring butterfly dance between flowers or when you go to sleep the night before your birthday with a promise of presents or you catch the scent of the sea and hear its crashing waves moments before you see it. It's something born of moonlight and sunrise that has the same properties as a rainbow and the littlest drop of it can help steady fear or make something that's impossibly sad seem ever so slightly lighter. It's an energy and a wish and a dream that can make you feel braver. Its name, quite simply, is hope. Think of all those familiar stories we know and how hope inspired them. The girl trapped in the tower without freedom of family. How frightened she must have been. How isolated. Yet, still she stood at her window and sang. The hope of a better dawn filled her with joy. So she sang, and she sang until her song filled the forest and reached the ears of a traveler passing by. Picture the boy setting out alone, cutting down a forest of brutal thorns that none have ever found their way through before. It is hope that makes him keep going, believing that he will find the sleeping kingdom beyond the thorns. Imagine the mermaid giving up her tail, finding the courage to venture into the unknown, into a world she has never seen. The wonder of new possibilities, making everything seem magical, the hope in her heart, giving her grit and tenacity, so she refuses to ever give up. Or remember the three children who found a shadowless boy and spiteful fairy and were told to think a happy thought so they too might fly without those gorgeous memories or hopeful wishes. They would not have risen into the air nor turned right at the second star and flown straight on till morning. Hope doesn't have to be vast or grand. It is not a spell. It's an enchantment we already have within us. On a sad or overwhelming day, when everything feels very dark, if you can find just a little drop of hope, a memory of something wonderful or a dazzling ambition, that tiny drop, no matter how small, will become your guiding star or your second star if you one day learn to fly. When the world seems dark or frightening, look for a single star. Make that star a hopeful thought. When you're ready, search for another until your sky is glittered with starlight, full of positive wishes, then the dark won't seem as ceaseless and our dreams of a new future will be infinite and bright.